Hi, this is Remy, and today we're going to look at the job DSL example provided by Tipify. Last time we looked at uh, Jenkins' uh, example using uh, a config XML file to deploy some Jenkins job configuration. Um, while this is good for a start here, what we wanted is to have our configuration defined as code, and this is why we are using Jenkins DSL. So let's go and run this example locally. So on the main page for the Jenkins example job DSL, you will find the repo. And what you can do is to download this repo locally and go into the example called job DSL. So this is what I've done here on my local. Once you have the example locally, you should be able to run it. Uh, so I'm gonna build the image, docker build, and I'm gonna run it on my local docker run. And as long as you have docker and Gradle installed, you should be able to run this example with no uh, external configuration, nothing, no extra step. Just this command line should be able to get you started. So Jenkins is up and running. So now I should be able to check. And I can see the job. Um, there's a seed job here that is called when, when we start Jenkins. And that seed job is actually running uh, a DSL script so this DSL script is uh, taking all the DSL scripts that are found in the image and running them. And if you look at the output, it generates one item, and that item is the Jenkins uh, job that we wanted to generate through DSL. So I'm going to run this job uh, just to verify that this is properly configured. But at the same time, I will show you the source code for this DSL job. So I'm in my example, uh, the Jenkins home folder. You can find the DSL folder, and then inside, inside you will have a GUI file. So we have override here means that every time we uh, deploy an image over an existing installation, it will always replace this file. So that will be helpful for deployment over an ex existing version. So what's interesting here is to look at the, the code that we have here. So as you can see, this is uh, not uh, an XML file. This is a Groovy script. And um, every line is actually deciding how you want to configure your job. So here you have a job uh, block. So this is the definition of a job. And that's the name of your job. And here, those are the different configuration steps for your job. You can see there is a GitHub repo that we are checking out. It's called Continuous Delivery Jumpstart. This is a, an open source project uh, that is pretty quick that will work well for this example. We have a step that is running a shell command. The shell command is a Gradle build. And we have publisher uh, step in our job, which are archiving uh, the WAR file that is generated and archiving the JUnit, which is uh, generating the unit test report for uh, that project. And uh, while this project is running, we should be able to see the output. So here, uh, successful. And uh, what I want to show you is that the war uh, is there and the tests are successful. And if you look at the job configuration, you will find the same uh, step that we defined in that file. Uh, so here we have the GitHub configuration, and here we have the shell script call, and at the end we have the publisher. So in that example, um, I want to show you how you can change a DSL and programmatically see the generation of the job that will be changed based on your changes. So let's uh, let's take an example. So I will. Um, Open that file, the DSL file, locally. So I will go into Jenkins Home, DSL. I will open the Groovy file. So since it's a Groovy file, you can do um, any uh, programmatic change. So I'm going to do a fetch change. I will do. I will generate uh, a loop here to generate more than one job. And in that case, I will generate this job 10 times.
OK. And programmatically, you can using any uh, programmation structure such as a, a for loop here that will actually generate this job uh, in that case 10 times. Another thing I want to do is to look at the API um, provided by the DSL. So I posted a link on the example at the end. And then you should be able to find, uh, let's say I want to add a parameter. So I would say Boolean parameters just for test. Um, and then I will add this in my job configuration. I would say, okay, now add some parameters and just call it one test uh, for this example. So now that I've done this, I should be able to run uh, the Docker with the changes. So first I need to do a Docker build and then I can do a Docker run and then we should be able to see the changes. So Docker build is done. Now it's running Jenkins. Let's check, uh, let's refresh this Jenkins here. And we got an error. Let's see if I can fix this quickly. Should okay. So here I just need to use uh, the Groovy preparation variable. And then as you can see, it's very easy to test and redeploy. I'm going to do build and run again. So just means it's starting. And yeah, we got our C job that this time executed, um, was executing the block statement 10 times and we got 10 job executed. And if I look at the job, I should have a parameter in my job. So this example was to show you how uh, you can programmatically generate some jobs based on DSL. Uh, you should be able to download the example provided here and uh, change the DSL script and uh, looking at the DSL API, being able to generate jobs that um, fit uh, your need for your organization. Thank you.